As you know, there are a couple of things that you really should not use a Dyson for. Picking up water, not very good at that. Polishing the car, definitely not very good at that. Painting, no, don't do painting. Turning it into an aeroplane, no, they don't fly very well. Using it as the only vacuum cleaner during a very complete hardcore kitchen strip replaster and refit is also not high on the list of things you should do with a Dyson, especially not a Dyson DC 24 such as this one which has been used for exactly that have a look at how dead it is Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? This came my way from a very good neighbour of ours. She said, oh it's been making a funny noise, it isn't working very well. We have used it to clean up during our kitchen refurb, which she admitted was perhaps not the best idea she has ever had. And she's 100% right, this is the worst idea she has probably had in a while because it doesn't like it. You can see actually it was out in the rain last night because it just passed it down. You can see the dust look. It thing is absolutely covered in it. But this is the lady who's having, if you remember the from my channel, the DC20 Stowaway. This is the outgoing, the stowaway is the ingoing. And I get to keep this. Yay! Yay me! And I've had a couple of ideas of what to do with it, and I think I'm going to run with one of them. But first, before we do any of that, we need to see if it works. So I thought, well, what better way to see if it works than just to launch straight in to the usual first look video. So, the Dyson DC24, the original small upright, obviously superseded by the Dyson DC50, and then the Dyson small ball. All of them working off of this form facts and these well they were never very good originally however I do sort of slightly like them now obviously I used one for a month in my 12 vacuums in 12 months series in 2018 and they're not as horrific as I've always thought the problem is you see I've always seen them like this and when they're like this they are awful literally if you knew no better you would throw this in the skip and think no more about it. So we're going to see if we can resurrect it slightly and then I shall tell you of my plan. So we shall start with actually the only thing I think it's missing which is the end cap for the wand. If that is the only new part that we need we're doing well. So obviously on the DC24 you have a combination dusting brush and Upholstery tool. If you've watched my V11 unboxing video, this is the original tool because this is what they use on the DC16. This is the first generation of combination tool and it's basically unchanged apart from the brushes are a bit softer and longer on the newer ones. They're not great for hard work but they're fine for, you know, general stuff. I'll pick you up a little bit for this because we can take the wand off. Obviously, I want the DC24, big pain in the bum. Obviously, to pick it up, you could either use this handle, which is what you should use, or what I and many other people do is go for this handle, which doesn't lock in place. It only locks when it's fully up. And obviously, you then pull the button and pull it down. So, a bit of a pain in the bum. Here we have the wand, which isn't too bad actually. A bit damaged, but nothing too scary so far. The little tiny hose sits in there, and that has seen some abuse, you can tell. But we'll go through the washing machine quite happily. It is not torn. It is alright, I suppose. 
Uh, which bit should I do next? We shall do... Actually, we'll finish, we'll, we'll carry on with this. As you can see, look, this will probably show you a bit better. The whole thing is just absolutely caked in dust. These things were never the best at keeping their dust in themselves, and especially not with plaster dust. This hose here can split where it is rubbed Ow! <laughs> against furniture. That has not happened. The extremities always get battered. That has also not happened. So, so far, so okay. However, and I have pre-looked at this, we need to look at the filter, which is going to tell us everything. So we shall recline the machine, roll the ball around until we can release the filter. Now this, I have seen this because I, that is one of my stickers, I make those, my little local Dyson repair services. And I had this in for a full refurb. I only charge her 50 quid rather than the 70 that I normally do because she's a lovely girl. She runs the local kids' clubs. So we do like her. She's a bit of a friend. On the 14th of November 2016, this, when this sticker would have been written out, would have been as new. It is now 2nd of May 2019. <laughs> What a difference three years makes, because if we look at the post motor filter, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of crap has gone through. Because you can see it hanging out of the motor unit itself. That is not what you want to see at all. So this, yeah. Don't actually know if it runs well. We need to see because that might have killed it. While we are down here, we shall remove the brush roll so I can show you it because this is doing the usual thing of filling itself up with fluff look in all of its extremities. Don't know if this screwdriver is going to be big enough. No, it's not. Hang on. You need something wider so you don't chew up the little locking tab oh turned it too far there we go the end cap has started to melt under the strain the inside of there is covered in yuck the brush roll isn't actually too bad wear wise but obviously it's quite filthy otherwise so yeah this thing has seen everything these do not take kindly to abuse these machines. They are not the best at filtering. They are not the best at sucking up. People abuse them because they're small and they just can't take it. So I'll pop that back on there. And before we turn that on, we shall, oh, hang on, I've got the cable under my tripod. I'll pop that to one side and take a look at the Cyclone, which is pretty disgusting. It is empty though, as you can see, full of plaster dust, and if we pop the filter open, the little filter that couldn't, we can see that that is, oh, that is dead, Jim, basically, and I do fear slightly for the rubber gasket that sits and that join because again they were never very good on these either so we have ourselves a poor little Dyson that has been in the wars now before we go any further these have the most hateful terrible motors known to man they break for fun especially break when they've been used like this so as you can see if I zoom in a bit you can now see into the there's my fingers the motor exhaust vents and when I turn it on we need to look for excessive sparking are you ready? I don't think it's turned on oh, got the plug that won't help Good 
damn bad there. Obviously good, there is no sparking. They spark like fireworks when they are done. I burnt myself once with one of these. I hate working on them. Um, I'm really careful because the motors are about 60 quid. You can't get passive motors. You have to get genuine dice. They're about 60 quid. I took one in without checking the motor. Told the lady, oh, it's just this. It'll be fine. I'll fix it. It wasn't. It needed the motor. I had to buy one myself because I couldn't then turn around and say, oh, yeah, by the way, they have your motor scrap because it's just a little bit iffy, isn't it? So now I will literally be in a customer's house when they're saying that their DC-24 isn't sucking up or the brush fold doesn't work because these motors like to kill themselves and I will flop it straight down in front of them, take that off and turn it on so they can see as well and it has saved my bum a fair few times. I will not be ashamed to admit. I wonder if it cleans anything like that. Because it's all back together, we put the filters back into the circuit. <laughs> With the filter up, with the cyclone on, the release valve blows straight away and is no good. What we will quickly look at though is just to see if the brush roll itself turns. take that any longer it didn't but a good jab of the reset button whereas this one has the later ones don't i think they self-reset or it's buried under here do so we do have a fully working machine i say working in its broadest technical sense it turns on and what should move does but what next for this little dc24 well what I had thought about doing was, we do ourselves a little project. I won't do one of my hour, two hour long, stripped down and remedial threads on this because I do think they go on for too long. People do watch them. But, you know, I think they go on for quite a while. What I was thinking of doing was to segment it up and film taking or you know either taking it apart step by step in little 10 minute videos or you know refurbishing the cyclone so a part washed back together refurbishing the brush roll a part washed back together i'm not quite sure i need to think about that but we shall certainly i think be able to make this work as good as new and i shall show you why when we get to the video so that's it for now on the, you know, this is a, just a normal before first look video. We'll leave it at that. Should go away and think about how I'm going to produce this. Maybe ask Mr. Hooverlux for advice because I know that he's done this a lot. Little, you know, little step by step videos. And we shall see if we can coax some life back into it and come back for an after video with it working once more. Poor little Dyson DC24, it'll be in all floors, the sticker's gone in the bin, but it, it'll be in all floors, they always were, and so we'll see it working once more and see if we'll actually pick up some dust. So that's it for now, thank you very much for watching, and the next time you see this we shall somehow, somewhere, some way, have started the refurb progress, process, however... I decide to produce that. So, thank you very much for watching. Hang on. Needs a new. It can do with a new little bearing as well in there. So that's three things we need. We'll need a whole filter set, the wand cap, and a little bearing. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon. With this, bye-bye.